Five reasons you're bad at Smite. One, you don't ward. Even worse, you make excuses saying, oh, I need money for my bill. Dude, that's not even how it works. Buying wards is always worth it. For you, your team, your ego. Damn, they even made a stat about it. Shit, dog, you see how many fucking wards I place this game? She. Number two, your mechanics are shit. It's okay to miss abilities once in a while, but instead of saying, oh, I really could have played that better if I aimed a little bit to the left or the right, you come up with some bullshit response. It was bad RNG. Yes, luck does exist in Smite, but it's not always gonna be luck that happens. You do have to take the blame for missing shit once in a while. The point is to learn from it, not to fucking get pissed at it. Number three, you blame everybody on the team for something you did wrong. Uh, team, where's my help? I got ganked, no help. It is your fault. A, you probably didn't buy wards. B, this is a two. B, you didn't look around to see where your teammates are in case you do get in trouble. Three, you probably didn't ask yourself, if I were to gank right now, would I live through it? Look at your actives, look at the map, look at the whole situation, look at the whole game. You're running through your head, you know, in certain situations, what you're gonna do. How about instead of blaming your team, you play with them. <gasps> Say things so. Believe it or not, there's four other people in the game. But when five people become one, oh, it's beautiful. It's downright beautiful. It's like a fine wine. Except you can't drink people. It's cannibals. Number four, your builds fucking suck. Tell me one time you saw an ISIS build full physical defense and do well. Pros build certain items for a reason. One, learn the builds. Two, learn why they build it. Certain builds match up with certain situations. Don't just assume one build works for everything. Builds also pertain to your role. You don't see fucking tanks go full damage unless they're just dicking around. The same goes for hunters and mages. You don't see them building full defense. Learn what type of builds work with your playstyle and class. Number five, you don't play this game nearly enough. You can't just wake up and... <laughs> I'm gonna go 20 and 0 at Shibalonke. That shit's not gonna happen. The old saying, practice makes perfect. It's fucking wrong, you can't be perfect. But practice does help you get better. Learning takes time. You can't just play one or two games and think, oh, I'm gonna be diamond in no time, easy peasy. You have to have time to think match to match what you can do better and what you can improve on. And of course, the last step about knowing these things is to actually fucking do them. Me, for example, I played this game so much, if you just play an ability noise, I'll be able to name what ability it is. No, I'm not saying I'm good, but hell, I ain't bad. Now, if you're watching this video and like, I'm not bad, Bad? How about you back it up and prove it? If you really care about becoming better, take the steps to actually become a better player and don't just say you're gonna do it. Everybody can be great in this game. It's all about effort. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.